Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is your Intuitively Awakened Starseed here with a message for the collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, welcome. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. You guys, this is going to be a timeless reading. It is a message for the collective and it is a general message for all zodiac signs, you guys. So please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not, please leave it. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, thank you guys so, so much for all of your support, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much, and I'm sending you guys love, light, gratitude, and some sage as well. So get some of that good energy there, you guys. We're going to go ahead and tap in, take a look at what is going on for the collective, you guys. Please remember, as always, to only take what resonates and leave the rest. All energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, your future, he, she, him, her, people, places, and things. Archangel Michael, please protect us during this reading. Let's go ahead and tap into the who, what, when, where, why and see what is going on for the collective. Okay, what we got here? Mmm inner core okay so looks like somebody's doing some inner work or something like that somebody's definitely tapping in i feel like to their higher self somebody's doing some work here right i feel like somebody misses you divine feminine i'm getting that feeling like somebody is definitely missing you yeah what else we got separation or a no contact is what i'm hearing right Oh, there could be some chaos and conflict as well. I'm seeing fury, bushfire, and storms. Storms that are cleansing. This could go two ways here now, okay? Because I'm seeing someone doing the inner work. I feel like there was some chaos and conflict going on between the two of you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, but I'm seeing storms. So there were storms, right? Storm clouds, emotional storms is what I'm getting. But I feel like there's somebody's living in misery, suffering in silence is what I'm getting. But this separation is necessary because I'm seeing here storms cleansing, right? So there's a cleansing that's going on, right? Somebody's getting clarity as well. See, rain, something to do with rain, right? Hmm. This is something that I feel like it's almost like I'm picking up on like somebody wants to wipe the slate clean. Somebody wants to, um, because the rain is, rain is a symbol of, you know, purity, cleansing, right? So someone wants to cleanse, clean up what happened or something like that, right? Yeah. Wow. I'm getting ice. So I'm seeing a cold energy coming from you towards this person. And that's got, this person is living in misery. There's a regret here. I'm picking up on chaos and conflict. Now, this could definitely be with your person and a third party, right? Also, but there's someone regretting their choice. Yeah, somebody made the wrong choice. Yeah, they're regretting. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you, spirit. You're like home to this person. You're like home to this person, divine feminine. This person, remember I said, this person is missing you, divine feminine. I picked up on that energy. Somebody is definitely living in misery. There's somebody in a situation, a karmic or a third party situation, something going on of that to that nature to whereas this person is not where they want to be someone is suffering in silence in a situation that truly wants to be with you divine feminine there is someone that is in some type of cycle some type of situation and they want to be with you they're thinking about you heavily divine feminine yeah wow this person is on autopilot. They can't even focus. This person is just going through the motions. 
this person's in a cycle. Someone is with someone that they don't want to be with is what I'm getting. And they're living in misery with this person, suffering in silence. It's like they're going through the motions. It's like they're not even grounded. There's something to do with grounded or the lack of being grounded. It's like this person is in heavy regret. Your love actually showed them this, right? It helped them to see is what I'm getting. The truth, but they realized this too late because they felt as though they were making the right choice and they ended up in this karmic cycle is what I'm getting. Divine Feminine. And it's like instant regret. Beginnings. Wow. So this person is like, I'm feeling like this person is daydreaming or something like that when it comes to you just like thinking about you thinking about new beginnings with you wow this person they're shook right they are shook what else we got, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective. Wow. Yin and Yang. I'm seeing you balance this person. You balance them, Divine Feminine. Yeah. And I'm seeing there's a lot of passion for you. So this person is deeply in love with you, Divine Feminine, is what I'm getting. They miss you. Like, there's... It's almost like this person is fantasizing about you is what I'm getting. I feel like you can pick up on this energy because this person is really, you're heavy on their mind. But they're in, they're in some type of cycle. They're in a union, living in misery, suffering in silence. They thought this was the right choice is what I'm getting, but now they're like, they're they're, they're suffering in silence. They're thinking about you. So it's like this person is in this union, divine feminine, but they're detached. So it's like their physical body is there, but their spirit and their heart is with you, divine feminine. I feel like you can feel this person. You, they may be showing up in your dreams. You may even be hearing this person's voice periodically or hearing something that reminds you of this person. There's something I'm getting very specific about the timing. When, when you're falling asleep, you may be thinking about this person heavily at the time that you're falling asleep or like hearing things or seeing imagery, something like that. It's when you're falling asleep though. I feel like you're tapped into this person. It's like when they're in the, like laying in the bed, they're thinking about you, right? Things like that, child, they thinking, I'm keeping this PG, okay? Y'all picking up what I'm putting down, right? There's something to do with speed. Now I'm getting that eight of wands energy, right? So speed I'm seeing here is clarifying the rain and the groundedness or the lack of grounded, like this person, there's a shift happening to where is this person is, they're tapping back in. So it's like, it's, it's like this person's without you, it's like there's no compass, right? They don't, their spiritual compass is just off, right? Without you, Divine Feminine, they're just out here. That's what I'm getting, right? But I'm seeing something is taking place with speed and I'm picking up on a shift with this person. So there's a definite shift with their energy, Divine Feminine. Yeah, somebody, somebody has a pet. I'm seeing here, this is random or there's something to do with a pet. And then I'm seeing companionship, right? Yeah. Somebody has, this person misses your companionship. I get that. But there's something to do with a pet, a significance. Some of you guys could have even shared a pet or something like that. Mm -hmm. Please take it how it resonates, right? Yeah, but this person is definitely missing your companionship. And I'm getting this connection. 
cool and you are cold. Oh, they've never seen you like this divine feminine. But this person, I'm getting this divine masculine, is living in regret, right? Living in misery, living in regret, suffering in silence, right? Because... They're missing you. They're thinking about you, but they're with, I keep getting this. They're with someone else. I'm seeing motion, right? This person's going to be taking action. And with the speed card, I'm seeing speed, getting that eight of wands energy. They're taking action. It's like they're wiping the slate clean. Because they're very detached where they're at. There's a third party, like this is a karmic cycle or something like that, but I'm seeing motion coming towards you fast. Huh. Something's coming to a completion. And you're the missing piece to the puzzle, Divine Feminine. But something's coming to a completion. That's the cycle that they're in, right? There's an undeniable magnetism that's going on between you guys. Yes, there is. There's a magnetism. You guys are magnetically being attracted to one another. There's an attraction, magnetism going on currently. This is why you're picking up on this person telepathically, Divine Feminine. That's what I'm getting. See, and then we have passion. This person, something about when they're when they're asleep, when they're, you know, laying in bed at night, they're thinking about you. There's a lot of passion. This person, it, I'm getting this is a protected connection between you guys, even though you're apart, but it's like the universe is shifting. It, there's a shift going on here with the universe to whereas this person is looking around, they're detaching, even though they're physically in this situation, they're detached and they're being moved, they're being shifted, right? Their energy is shifting. They're no longer a vibrational match with this person, this karmic, this third party, this divine masculine is ascended, right? It's your light. And that's divine masculine energy right there, the sun. It's your light, divine feminine. Yeah. So this divine masculine is being attracted to your light, right? There's a magnetism going on here between you guys. And it's like it, that light guides them. Your light is like a beacon of light that guides this. Remember I said this masculine, their compass, their spiritual compass is off because you guys are no longer together physically physically in the physical body because again this divine masculine is detached spiritually emotionally where they're at that's what i'm getting y'all i told y'all look at this it's a change in the wind there is a change in the wind and literally what was I getting ready to say? Somebody is feeling this shift with this divine masculine. They're detached. It's like their head is in the clouds, right? They, This person does not, whomever this third party, this karmic, this person that they're in a cycle with does not have this divine masculine's attention. Their attention is focused on you. And I feel like this person is now this third party or this karmic or karmic third party is trying to apply pressure. Yeah, they're trying to apply the pressure now. But the thing of it is, this divine masculine is so far detached. They can't. This magnetic pull, they're being attracted to your life. They're there physically, but they're out the door mentally, spiritually. Their heart is with you. Oh, shoot, y'all. Wow. This is something. Look at this. So I'm seeing the ocean. I'm seeing a lot of richness. I'm seeing very deep emotions. When we see the ocean, we're talking about emotions here, right? 
a lot of strong, deep emotions. That's with you. You're the missing piece. You're the missing piece to the puzzle with this divine masculine, right? And there's very deep emotions. This divine masculine is very attached to you, divine feminine. Wow. You're this divine masculine's piece. I'm feeling an overwhelming sense of sadness. This divine masculine is suffering in silence. I'm feeling this divine masculine's energy at this time. Living in misery, this is not where they wanna be. This divine masculine wants to be with you. They thought they made the right choice. They see that their judgment was clouded, divine feminine, and they made a huge mistake. They fumbled you. Oh my goodness. Right when I seen this, it's like this divine masculine, you're their peace. Your love is pure. Your love is rare. You're their divine counterpart. Oh my goodness. Remember I said hearing that voice? This divine masculine is calling out to you, especially at night. Yeah, they're calling out to you. There's some telepathic communication going on here. Wow, you guys. There's a lot of silence I'm getting. Like I said, this divine masculine's head's in the clouds. They're not even engaging in any conflict is what I'm getting. I feel like this person's trying, I feel like this third party, this karmic is trying to apply pressure because they feel like the divine masculine's energy is shifting away. But there's a silence. There's a coldness. This third party is losing it because this divine masculine, physically they're there, but it's like this, their mental, their heart is so far gone. This, this third party can't penetrate this. Wow. This divine masculine's concerned with starting over with you. I'm seeing ignition. So igniting, reigniting this flame with you, right? That has never went out. This, you guys are twin flames. This has never went out, right? Twin flames separate. It can be years. Twin flames come back together, right? But this divine masculine is focused on building with you, divine feminine. Yeah. Rekindling things, reconnecting with you. This is what this divine masculine fantasizes about. This is what this divine masculine truly wants, divine feminine. Yeah. Instant regret with this person. Instant regret. See, this person definitely made themselves appear to be like you, Divine Feminine. Healing, loving, nurturing energy. It was all a facade. It was all an act is what I'm getting, right? They couldn't copy your essence. What did I tell you? There's a darkness with this person. And this, this Divine Masculine is in misery, absolute misery, being with this person, right? Suffering in silence. This could be someone that was new or somebody that they went back to, something like that, but they're seeing a darkness, right? Um, some type of wicked, diabolical energy with this person. That's what I'm picking up on as well. And your love was pure, divine feminine. You were their peace. This person is, I'm getting the energy of this person constantly trying to, um, have chaos and conflict with this divine masculine, right? Yeah. Sorry, guys, my camera here. But I'm getting a lot of chaos and conflict. But this divine masculine is quiet. They're quiet. They're not engaging with this person is what I'm getting. Ciao. I'm seeing mystery. So it's like a mystery is revealed. Let me straighten this up, you guys. 
It's like a mystery is being revealed with this person or the mystery has been revealed, right? So this divine masculine can see right through this person is what I'm getting. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to fix that camera, but I'm seeing like this darkness, right? So this mystery has been revealed with this person, with this divine masculine. So it was like this divine masculine, I feel like there was a bit of instant regret when the Sabine Masculine made the choice to go to this person, but then it was like this darkness started to slowly reveal itself with this third party, right? Or this karmic. And that's when the Sabine Masculine realized they made an error in judgment. It was like their vision was clouded. They had cloudy judgment. And I feel like you, Divine Feminine, when they were with you, it was all love, healing, nurturing energy, but because you're their divine counterpart, you challenge them, right? So you challenge them to be the best version of themselves, right? So it required work on their part. This person that appeared to be a divine feminine operating out of divine energy, they appeared that they didn't require as much, right? But it, they tried to make it like they were, they had that same essence as you. But once you were out of the picture, Divine Feminine, this person, that dark energy started to slowly show up. So now this is this Divine Masculine's instant regret, right? Yeah, instantly regretting this. What else we got, Spirit? child what else we got mm. see you were guiding this divine masculine to their true north divine feminine yeah you were guiding them to their true north you were that beacon of light for growth for ascension right because that's what happens with the twin flames the divine feminine the divine masculine you guys come together and you guys ascend you continue on a mission of unconditional love and divine feminine you you were mirroring this energy to this divine masculine and it was like it was so overwhelming right but here here comes this third party this karmic right with all of these illusions right mm-hmm yeah and now the sabai masculine sees that it was all fake it was all a facade and they're over here living in misery suffering in silence in this union right because this person copycatted you and again this could be somebody from their past their present child please take it how it resonates right Mm, flip it, switch the roles, how it fits, right? I'm seeing growth. Yeah, growth. That's the divine masculine stepping into their true divine energy with their divine feminine. And they have clarity now. They have clarity now. So it's like they see that this person is fake, right? But they've been spying on you. So I'm getting this divine masculine spying on you, hoping for a miracle, they hope they're this divine masculine is definitely hoping for a miracle because it's like they feel like they have messed things up so bad. It's like they're they're in a union with somebody else, right? So there's like all of this regret, and they see where they've really messed everything up. Divine feminine, this person is really suffering in silence over you. Hurting. Oh. And they made this decision, a poor choice, because it was like, it seemed like it was easier, right? This was something that was easier because this divine masculine was still on their path of ascension, right? They were on their path of growth, right? And so they were still distorted and fragmented at the time, and they were still making decisions out of that distortion, right? that distorted reality, that distorted view, right? They were still making decisions out of that energy. That's what clouded their judgment. That's what clouded their judgment. It was the place where they were at in their journey. It was that part of the journey where they were at that caused their judgment to be clouded at this point in time. Because divine feminine, your energy is extremely loving and strong, right? It's powerful. 
That divine energy is powerful. I always say that that divine energy can start and stop wars. It's that powerful. For some of you guys, you may not know just how powerful that energy is and what you embody, but that essence, mm, something else. It's even this divine masculine is laying in the bed at night thinking about that essence. Child PG. What else we got here, spirit? Magic. Why is magic showing up? I'm seeing alchemy. You're an alchemist, divine feminine. Yeah. That's one of your innate gifts, right? You're an alchemist. Why is magic alchemy showing here? Spirit, please give us more. Ooh. Oh. Energetic. There's an energetic exchange going on here between you guys telepathically. Oh. Wild thoughts. I'm hearing wild thoughts. I'm seeing wildness, wild thoughts, energetic exchange. This divine masculine manifesting you. This divine masculine does have spiritual gifts. This divine masculine has spiritual gifts, right? Like divine feminine. They're in their divine energy. Mm. They're coming out of that south node. Headed towards their true north, divine feminine. They're ready for the adventure. They're ready to be in union with this divine energy. They're ready to be with their kindred spirit. You guys are kindred spirits. And they're ready to be on that journey, that mission. They're ready to continue that mission, that unconditional love. This divine masculine is empty. Their soul without their divine counterpart. Yes, that's you, divine feminine. Ciao. Feel like it seems outside outward appearances can be very misleading this divine masculine is ready to come back into rhythm with you i'm seeing music you guys could also have um there could be a song that you keep hearing something that keeps um showing up on your feed or you know um you just keep hearing this song or maybe there's a song that you're playing right now that really reminds you of this person and you keep looping it, right? Because you keep thinking about this person because you're in that moment in time where you guys parted ways because it's time to pick up. So it's like you're remembering those moments, right? Every detail because it's time for that to, you guys to pick up where you left off. Ciao. This something else, y'all. This energy. Mm-hmm. What else we got, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective. This is something else. Breath. You breathe life into this divine masculine, right? You're the vessel that carries the key to their heart. You're the vessel that carries the missing piece to the puzzle, right? To their soul is what I'm getting. And it's like you're a breath of fresh air and it's like you breathe life. You're the vessel that, oh my goodness, that brings this divine masculine happy and this divine masculine something to do with time. Something to do with timing. Now we did pick up on the speed of movement earlier, divine feminine, but I'm seeing something to do with timing. Oh. So I'm seeing water, a lot of water here. So emotions is what I'm picking up on, right? There's no one like you, Divine Feminine. And I feel like this person's, this Divine Masculine is getting their courage up to come towards you. I'm seeing bravery and crossing oceans, right? So this is all about this Divine Masculine being brave enough to come towards you, getting that courage up to come towards you because they realize they've made a mess of everything. But I'm getting like this desert. So very desolate, right? It's so cold. 
where they're at. They want to be with their divine feminine. Look at this powerful energy that you embody, that essence, divine feminine. I told you it can start and stop wars. Quit playing. Yeah. Look at this. Deep emotions, depth. Oh, endurance, right? So this, I'm getting the energy, like this divine masculine is definitely miserable, right? Where they are at and they're willing to do whatever. They're willing to endure whatever it takes to come back into union with you, divine feminine. I'm seeing endurance, right? Yes. Oh, child. Because see, this third party is trying to apply the pressure and it ain't working. This divine masculine is so far detached. It's like they're only talking to a shell at this point. Yeah, this third party, this karmic that's trying to apply the pressure. Mm -mm. This is only a shell. This divine masculine's checked out. They've checked out. Their focus is you. And I feel like you're remembering every detail of that moment, all of a sudden you like keep replaying or reflecting that energy, Divine Feminine. That's because you guys are getting ready to pick up where you left off. That's what I'm getting. Spirit, please give us a clear message for the collective. Please give us more clarity. Please give us more clarity for this message, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more clarity. Thank you. current intentions. This divine masculine intends to come back into union with you. Uh-huh. Two of cups. Two of cups. I'm definitely getting this magnetic pull within the universe, right? You guys are being pulled back together. Oh, child, what in the world? Oh, okay, divine masculine. Look at these cards. Did you see how that deck split three ways like that in my hands? Oh, well, there it is. Oh, well, there it is. Oh. Oh. Two of Cups. This Divine Masculine wants to come back into union with you. I'm seeing... This is like divine intervention. But you see this, the Knight of Cups? They're bringing their cup of love back to you. The Queen of Cups. The true love. That... I'm getting that undeniable, no judgment. It's like your love, it's unconditional. This divine masculine is coming back towards you. See, this third party, they found out that there, there were conditions, right? This third party, they were fake. This was a whole false person. Queen of Swords energy. This divine masculine is bringing their cup back to you. I'm seeing the Queen of Cups. They want that. They want how you were before with them, right? This Queen of Swords is hurting them, but they know that they caused this. They know they caused you to be cold towards them, right? Yes, yeah, Spirit, please give us more for the collective. What else we got? Oh, man. There was some type of betrayal. And this is because they took their cup of love to someone else. That's why you told them. And there was some betrayal. There were some illusions like I'm getting trickery and lies, sneakiness that was going on. So they know they broke your trust, Divine Feminine. Oh, this Divine Masculine wants a long-term commitment. Yeah. A deep knowing, a deep understanding, and they're afraid that you're not going to accept their offer. This divine masculine is so sorry, deep in love with you. Okay, y'all. We got king of cups and we got queen of cups. And then we got the two of pentacles, right? This divine masculine was juggling. While they were with their queen of cups, that's why you ended up in your queen of swords energy. But this divine masculine is deeply in love with you because here go the queen, of, the king of cups. This divine masculine deeply in love with you, right? 
after all of this tower moment, this, this deceit, I'm getting trickery. See, they were sneaky in the past. This divine mask, they were sneaking, but they were in that, I'm getting that energy of fragmented, right? They hadn't ascended. So this divine masculine betrayed your trust. The trust was broken, but this divine masculine loves you, divine feminine. And they're bringing their cup of love back to you. They were juggling in the past, but see that two of pentacles is showing also that you are now their priority. They want that unconditional love. They want to show you unconditional love. And with this Hierophant card, they want to show you and prove to you that they can be that person for you, right? So the same, they want to show you that they can reciprocate that healing, loving, nurturing energy because they didn't before. They took it for granted. That's what I'm getting. With this Hierophant card, this Divine Masculine wants to show you and they want to prove to you. Long-term commitment, right? Mmm. They're afraid you're not going to accept their offer. Two of Cups. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all, what else we got, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective. Ciao. Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Oh, ciao. I told y'all, spying, hoping for a miracle, watching you, right? This divine masculine is trying to get a leg up, seeing what it is that they could do, trying to read you, trying to see what, what exactly they could do to bring you guys back into balance or to get you to trust them enough to give them another chance to show you that it's safe to trust them. They want you to know that it's a safe place with them. See, these are the thoughts that are going through this divine masculine's head, divine feminine, while this divine masculine is still, they're in this karmic cycle or in union with the third party. See, their head is in the clouds, completely detached, uh-huh, from where they're at. And it's like this third party's trying to apply pressure. And this is all that's on the this divine masculine's mind. Fantasizing about you, trying to figure out a way back to you, divine feminine. Yeah. What else we got here, spirit? Please give us more. Mm. This divine masculine's over there brokenhearted over you with somebody else. Mm-hmm. Sure is. Sure is. Yep, and I feel like all of a sudden, Divine Feminine, it's like you are tapping back into this person's energy. This is all for a reason. This is that energetic pull, right? This Divine Masculine wants to come rushing back to you so bad, but they know that they messed everything up, and that's why you abandoned them. They realize now what they did. They definitely realize. They see what they did now. There's been a lot of introspection, a lot of inner work, and they're brokenhearted. They broke their own heart, disappointed you, and ended up breaking their own heart. This divine masculine wants to come back into union with you. They're ready to turn their back on this current situation because this ain't it. You the one. This is not it. This current situation that they're in, mm -mm, they want to be with you, divine feminine. Look at this. Pisces energy, hidden emotions, hidden feelings, right? And that's divine feminine energy, right? This divine masculine wants to let you know how they feel once and for all is what I'm getting. Oh. Wow. Clouded judgment ended up in all of this. Mm-hmm. Look at this told y'all instant regret instant regret look at this the six of wands this divine masculine's holding out hope they're holding out hope hoping for forgiveness like again i feel like this divine masculine wants to the energy i'm getting it's like they want to 
get you to at least trust them enough if there's a way just so that they can show you yeah that they can be the one for you right they child this divine masculine wants a new beginning look at this ace of cups ace of cups they want to reciprocate they want to show you that they can love on you the same way you loved on them divine feminine mm -hmm. they want to show you that they can love on you the same way that you loved on them that they can show you that unconditional love that they can show you that loyalty that you deserve right they know they didn't give you what you deserved in the past. Chow, Ace of Cups. Look at that. Abundant, loving, new beginning. This Divine Masculine taking action. King of Wands. And then we have the Emperor card, right? So Aries energy on the board. This Divine Masculine knows what they want and it's you. Like I said, where they're at, this ain't it. This ain't it. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. See, their judgment was clouded when they made this choice. You see that? The Two of Swords is all about choices, right? But their, their vision was clouded. That's why it has a blindfold on. Mm-hmm. They regret this, right? They want to be in union with you. Oh, my goodness over here living in misery suffering in silence thinking about you lover's card yeah the lover's card look at this scorpio energy on the board something coming to an end and a new beginning y'all scorpio energy right the death card this is my masculine's liberating away from something mm-hmm what else we got spirit yeah they liberating away from this current situation because they're not happy. They want to be with you. They want to start this new beginning with you. And they want to show you that they can return all the love and then some. Divine Feminine. This person's going through it. This is a karmic cycle that's coming to an end. This is a whole karmic cycle that they're in. Look, mm-hmm. This person's about to be out in the cold. I told you there were other motives. We got the King of Pentacles showing up here. And this person's about to be out in the cold with this Divine Masculine. Because guess what? They're trying to apply pressure. And this Divine Masculine can't even... They're not even paying it no attention. Like I said, this Divine Masculine is like on autopilot because they're focused on you, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, please give us more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See? It's like they thought that they won or something. But this divine masculine shutting this down, right? It's like spiritual warfare or something going on here. It's, oh, I don't know. I'm picking up on that, right? Yeah, nine of wands. Wounded soldier wants to come home. You're home to this divine masculine. I feel like you're going to get some communication out of the blue. Knight of swords. This is somebody rushing in with communication this is someone that definitely regrets lying to you divine feminine they definitely regret lying to you they regret the betrayal they regret their deception they know you didn't deserve this you're a divine feminine see they were used to this lower vibrational codependent energy right these pygmies right they never had someone that was a divine feminine yeah and they've never been loved like the way you love them either hmm child they misread you misjudged you right and that's what led to the chaos and conflict in the tower moment between you guys uh-huh because they had you wrong but i feel like they felt as though so many people start off like acting like they're divine feminines right they start off in that energy and then it just like wanes away right it just goes away. They're used to being this, this manipulative cycle with these pick-me energies and things like that, right? 
So this Divine Masculine, I feel like even though it was very different, this Divine Masculine misjudged you, misread you, and was treating you like you were regular or something. And now they see, yeah, no, that wasn't the case. That was not the case at all. And they're still attached to you. They're detached from this third party. Like I said, it's like their God body's with you. This is the physical body just there, just a fleshy body spiritually. And, and emotionally, this divine masculine is attached to you, divine feminine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they want a second chance. Phoenix rising. Judgment. Heavy judgment is what I'm getting. There's a lot of judgment going on here, y'all. Yes, it is. Look, this divine masculine wants unbridled joy and happiness with you. The sun card. Mm, wants to spoil you, shower you with love is what I'm getting and could be gifts as well. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. See, this divine masculine's living in misery, burdened, right? Suffering in silence. I feel like that's coming to an end, right? Yeah, this divine masculine, y'all, y'all, look at these cards. Look at these cards. What'd I just say? This Divine Masculine wants that happily ever after with you, Divine Feminine, and they're ending this no contact. Get ready, Divine Feminine. This Divine Masculine's coming towards you, and I feel like it's unexpected because this Divine Masculine's in union. There's, there's with someone, right? Or something like that, but they're coming towards you. Y'all, I'm leaving this reading here. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by as always. And I will see you guys for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love you. Bye.